I'm Gordon Campbell Gray, Campbell Gray Hotels. Um, good morning, thank you for talking to us today at AHIP 2011. Um, the general feeling so far this year has been um, quite positive. Um, the re rebound in the Middle East um, after two difficult years in 2009-10. Um, how do you feel going to 2011? Well, I think it's, there is a sense of optimism, remarkably, considering the current political unrest almost throughout. But there are some areas which are doing very well, and I think everyone realizes that when it does resettle, and it has to resettle, and there's a new order, uh, it's an area that people are ready to visit, and there will be a lot of new destinations. So I think overall, I think it just needs to be put on, um, on hold for a little while, because clearly at the moment, it's, it's not perfect. Um, we're here in Dubai today. How do you feel um, specifically um, with the Emirates? Well, it's a pretty overheated spot as far as I'm concerned, in that I think the, the rampant building which has gone on here is it's a bit excessive, and I think they need to put a total stop because uh, how much supply can there be? Uh, I'm, I, I think there are too many developments. Is this uh, just in the luxury end or sort of <coughs> mid, uh, mid range as well? I think there's a great interest in the mid range being attended to. I think that the problem is it's been the luxury end that everyone focused on and they've forgotten there are a lot of people who do want to travel in a more economic way. So I think the budget sector will definitely have a future. And you just need to look at budget travel. Um, fly Dubai, I mean, suddenly people are traveling around um, an economy airlines in the Middle East, who would have thought it? So I think the economy sector is one to what, I would say. Um, how about your own properties in <coughs> Lebanon? How, how are you faring out there? Well, Lebanon is just amazing. It's my favorite place in the world, and Le Grey has been a huge success, I'm happy to say. And, um, you know, I think individual hotels often do very well through downturns because we have a great loyalty. So we're, we're doing terrifically. We're extending the hotel and we're building one, possibly two, extra hotels in Lebanon. So from my point of view, it's been a big success, even although Lebanon always has a sense of um, anxiety about it. When you're there, you don't feel it. So we're, we're fine. And how about in the Caribbean? Uh, I believe you're in um, Antigua. <coughs> we're in Antigua, which is doing awfully well. I have to say, I think with um, Oman and Egypt being off most people's agenda this winter, they've all headed for the Caribbean. We're packed. And we're doing a new hotel in the island of Grenada, which we're just starting to design now. Okay, exciting times. Thank you very much for talking to Breaking Channel. Total pleasure, thank you.